And the end result is this room. Blah. Blah. Hello everybody, Pug Nation here. Welcome back to another episode of Pug's Quest. In the last episode, I started my sweet automatic... Automatic? Why did I put the word automatic in front of it? <laughs> my sweet, nothing automatic about it. Colored sheep farm. Uh, I have every single color of sheep you could possibly have in the game, I think? I think there's 16 different wool colors, including plain old white, which we have here. And teal, even! Why not? So, I've caught ahead, and, and I've started decorating, and oh my gosh, all of these entities in one place makes it a little bit jumpy right here. I apologize for that. But look at this! I kind of like the way it looks. I think it's coming along pretty good. And as you guessed it, this episode will mostly be about decorating, making everything look better. Because let's face it, all this crap is friggin' butt ugly. Like, whoa, there's just torches everywhere and just, ugh, there's a giant hole in the wall. And I'm so sick of walking around my base and just having it be as god-awful as it is. And this is a much better look, I think. This is pretty neat. But we're going to start off by honoring a very nice suggestion. Something I actually hadn't thought of by one of my viewers. So in the awesome Puglet builds, I'm going to add thing number two, which will eventually be added to the server. This is from... Aaron Wang? Aaron Wong? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> secret lair behind a book block or some kind of secret lair. Some kind of hidden passageway. Um, I love it. I think that's awesome. I actually hadn't even thought about that. I haven't done too many um, secret passages or things like that before. So I think that's a really cool idea. Don't forget to leave your suggestions down below and I may pick some of the best ones or I will pick the best ones that I like and put them right here in the awesome Puglet Builds book to be built at a later time by me. But anyways, for now, let's get to decorating and let's start with this room, I think. Um, let's just start with the floor. Gotta make the floor look pretty cool. And I liked what I have going over here. The kind of alternating half slab. Um, the half slab and stone brick look. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and we can drop the beat and start decorating this floor. <laughs> Yes, everything looks so much better already. Oh, that floor just adds so much to this base. Woo, that's incredible. I love it. And just some finishing touches I like to throw off. Uh, throw off, throw back, throw on. Let's put some blue wool down, add some color on the edges. Kind of like what I have going here. I like that, I think it's a pretty cool look. And I picked blue because I like blue. If you want a different color, leave it down below, but it's blue. Blue's the way to go. Let's see how this looks. Just add a little accent in the corners. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. That looks nice. I'm loving it. And you know what? The music's still going. We haven't stopped dropping the beat. Now my voice is just superimposed on top of it. And that's because we're going to finish up the hallway in my awesome colored wool farm. So let's get right back to it. Woo, that does look nice.
Alright, and just like that, my giant sheep hallway is done. And I think it looks pretty sweet, I'm not going to lie. I love running up and down here and just looking at this. Whoa, I got a lot of orange dudes. <laughs> Why do I have so many orange guys? Man, you guys have been... You guys have been really going to town in there, I guess. Jeez, a lot of gray guys, too. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, this looks awesome. This looks pretty cool. Um, I think I'm just going to do the floor of this room just like that until I figure out what the point of this giant room is going to be. Of course, obviously, I need to put stairs in because I'm sick of jumping up and down. But I have a pretty neat idea for this wall. I think I'm going to make a giant sheep head. And I'm just going to cut the camera real quick so I could go online and just pull an image of a Minecraft sheep and start building it right there on the wall. And then from there, it's time to put the stairs in both here and there and to figure out what the walls are going to look like in the rest of my base, including here in the sheep and the cow farm and also the super fast wheat, carrot, and potato farm. I got to figure out what the walls are going to look like in the rest of this place because, yeah, still, these plain gray walls, not going to do it. Um, not sure I want to do something exactly like I have down here because I think it's a little bit plain. I think it works for just this area. But if I do the whole base like that, I think it'll be kind of boring. Everything's just kind of gray and blah. This kind of looks like an insane asylum, <laughs> the way this hallway is. It's actually a little bit... It's creepy, sort of. It, it does feel like an insane asylum, which is fine for what it is. I mean, it's like a horrible prison for the sheep. This is like a racist sheep farm where sheep are bread and kept in captivity based on their colors it is kind of disturbing actually when you think of it that this came from my mind hmm hmm that's kind of a problem but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get started on that sheep head okay we have our beautiful canvas and now let's make a giant sheep head right here on the wall Ah, oh, where do I start? Right here. How about right here, smack dab in the middle? And I guess it should be about nine wide. I'm pretty much just going to wing this. One, two, three, four from the middle. One, two, three, four. And then I guess it should be like seven tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Although now that I think about it, to make it more like 3 D E. 3-D-E? That's my new word of the day. We should have this pop out like one more. That'll look kind of cool. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This might be too wide. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to wing it. How often do you get to make a giant sheep head? This will be good practice, though, for my giant pug head that I hope to build someday. Yes, indeed. Oh, and I should put half slabs up here. Otherwise, I'm going to have dudes spawning. Hmm, yes, before I forget, I'm going to put some quartz half slabs up there. I think that's actually a good idea. The white won't stand out too much, so that won't be too much of a problem. And it'll get rid of my mob spawning problem. So let me just pillar back up. And how high? One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And a block there. And half slab this up. Oh, this is perfect position, though. Definitely. I like that. Perfect position. It couldn't be any taller. It would look kind of stupid if it was right up against that wall. Although, I have a feeling it's going to look stupid no matter what. <laughs> Such a fatalist here, Pug Nation. I don't know. These will be its little cheekbones. And uh, let's use wood for his face. I think that's kind of a neat look. One, two, one, two, and here will be its derpy tongue. And then, hmm, how do I want to do this? Frame the face. So I guess that should be white. It's really hard doing this blind, you know what I mean? Like, I have no idea what this is going to look like. I guess brown, brown, and I think... How are the eyes? I can't remember what their eyes look like. There's definitely like a black... I think it's black on the outside and then white on the inside. I'm not sure. We're going to find out, though. Black, white, and then just frame all this with brown. And it should be good, I think. 
And let's also half slab this so I don't got guys spawning up here. Perfect. And just finish framing this with the brown wood. And hopefully it doesn't look terra bad. But I have a bad feeling that it's going to look just awful. Uh, I gotta get rid of that, otherwise there'll be guys spawning back there. Put a torch there just to make sure. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see how it looks. Ah! Actually, I think that's right. I like it. I think it looks good. Let's get a better angle on it. Looks a little bit off. Maybe to give it some 3D shape, I could cut some of the cheeks off here. Now it looks a little bit more 3D. Might look a little bit more too gaunt, though. Let's see, though. Chop the cheeks off. And... Now it's too gaunt if you do three. Man, I'm really nitpicking about this stupid sheep head. <laughs> it's a big deal, okay? Whoop! Oh, come on. Let me get that. Yeah, there we go. All right, now let's see our finished product. That's actually kind of neat. Look at that. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, yeah, that came out really well. I like it. Let's just get rid of that torch. Get rid of that torch right there so the lighting's even. Yeah, that's great. Wow. Wow. But you didn't know I was a such a sheep artist. Man, this, I feel really good now. I feel really good about how this pug's going to come out. All right. That, oh, that's so cool. So you walk into the sheep farm and then boom, giant sheep head. And then you can come down the stairs when, you know, I finally put stairs here. And off you are into the sheep farm. That is really cool. I love that. Now I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to complete the floor in here to make it look kind of like that. And then put some stairs in. And I think we'll be done. Although I still want to find a way to spruce up those walls, but... And then it's time to go into the main lobby. And I have a cool idea for that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this floor. And then we're going to hop into the main lobby of my base, which is up here. Put the stairs in and get to work on my cool idea. All right, here goes nothing. I'm going to try to build a few more of those. But now that I'm looking at them, it's pretty ugly. Those are supposed to be pug heads. Kind of looks like this weird, like, Legends of the Hidden Temple vibe thing going on. Which is not what I was going for at all. I wanted to have an authentic looking pug head, except in miniature. But the problem is, you really can't do it when you only have, like, five blocks wide you can build. It's kind of hard in Minecraft to make real looking, realistic looking anything, let alone when you only have five blocks to do it in. But you know what? We're going to be brave in the attempt, and I'm going to have four pug heads going around this thing, and it will be... The pra eh, awesome's a little too strong of a word to use. Ugly? Yeah, it's pretty ugly, but... Uh, adventure. It's an adventure. We're working on it. The decorations in this base are an ever-evolving thing, and... Yes, the pug heads may need to come down because they don't even look like pug heads. They look like space alien invader things. Not good. Also, I'm going to have bad guys spawning on top of them, I bet. But, yeah, kind of weird. But also, check it out. It did this, like, nifty little staircase design. Again, I don't even know if I like it. There's, like, a lot of clashing colors going on here. And I still have that ugliness up there. And the walls are still plain gray. There is a lot going on here that I really need to fix up. I think I like the stairs, and I think I like that archway, so I'll probably leave that. The pug heads... <clears throat> oh, I only have three. I still have to do the fourth one. The pug heads... Eh, I'm not too sure about. I'm not too sure about. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you like the weird, like, Legends of the Hidden Temple vibe that I got going on in here that was totally unintentional? Does anyone even know what Legends of the Hidden Temple is? How old am I? Is that a dated reference? Do you not know what that is? Please tell me you know what Legends of the Hidden Temple is. Please. Please don't tell me I'm old. Please. Help me. But I digress. Let's just finish it off. Stop apologizing, Pug Nation. No apologies. This is awesome, and all of you know it. And you should leave a thumbs up if you think it's awesome. 
Ooh, I shouldn't say that because then you might be inclined to leave a thumbs down if you don't think it's awesome. Don't do that. Just leave a comment if you don't think it's awesome and let me know and I can go ahead and change it. Especially if you guys even have better ideas for what to do in here. Because apparently I am a terrible interior decorator. Which is why I've waited until episode 17 or whatever episode this is to even attempt it. And just finish off this archway. Let's see, I have three across the top. Is that how I did it? One, from the middle, two, three. Do, 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 do. One, two, three. And hopefully I do have enough of the nether quartz. Ooh, I like that look better with that arch there with the half slabs on the bottom side like that. That adds a little bit to it. That looks a little bit better. Well, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and then just complete this. I'm gonna have to make another nether run because I think I don't have enough nether quartz to finish this archway, which is really depressing. Really depressing. I do love the sheep head though. I No one can tell me that this doesn't look awesome because you're just lying. It's not even a subjective opinion. This is, this is definitely awesome. Quantifiably awesome, indeed. Indeed. And this needs to be one wider. And that needs to go up one more, like that. And that should be it all done. And, oh man, I'm gonna be just short. Just short, look at this. No! So close. But anyways, yikes, that's the completed. That's the completed uh, entrance to the Pugnation base. And yeah, I think I hate it. But again, like I keep saying, let me know what you think. Should the pug heads come down? I think so, because they don't even really look like pug heads. And the stairs are a little bleh. And that's definitely bleh. I gotta fix that up. But also, now I need to figure out... Oh, and I'm, I don't even have enough stuff for stairs here. Oh, that's a bummer. At least I can put in the wooden steps. So I can do that. That's no problem. And I think I'll do two wide here and then kind of have the upside down stone brick stairs like I was doing in that other room. I kind of like that. I think that's kind of a neat look. At the very least, we can get these done and put a torch there so I don't have a bunch of bad guys spawning everywhere. Yes, indeed. Yes, sir. I do like this dark wood. I think I should incorporate the dark wood more. So maybe go into the pug room and just simplify it. I think I have... I think I have too much going on in there. It's just like too loud. There's like 20 different colors and see, I got carried away. I have this wool farm and I have all these different colors available to me now and I got way too carried away on my first build and went ahead and built super ugly pug heads and the end result is this room. Blah. Blah. Okay, I did it. I took down the pug heads. They were awful. I, I, blah. Those were terrible, and I'll tell you what, that's that's a pretty scary thing when you consider that one of my big projects that I have planned is a giant pug head. So that one was like a miniature failure. So what are we going to do? We're going to make a much bigger pug head this time around and hope that that isn't a failure. But anyways, <laughs> this looks actually pretty cool. I like this. It's very simple, and I'm actually okay with the gray walls in this case, because I think if we did too much more than this, it would get very busy, and it would just look like the pug heads. Like, the problem with the pug heads is that it was just too much, too busy, too div too many different colors, blah, too much going on. So I think this room is all done, and I even went ahead and I kind of cleaned that up a bit. So there aren't any big gaping holes, although I left a torch there. That's coming down right now. Oh, can't have that. That will drive me crazy. There we go. That's perfect. And I cut back here a little bit. So this used to be five wide. Now it's only three. And this room is undeniably sweet. Again, I just can't get over it. And I even like the stairs. I think they're pretty cool. When I get some more nether quartz, I might put it on top of each of these upside down staircases the same way I did over here so that I have some unity everything looks kind of the same or I might just get rid of this I wonder what that actually looks like what it looks like without these it might even look better I didn't even think of doing that simplifying everything it does look way better without the pug heads and maybe it looks better without 
that. Mm, eh, no, I don't think so. I like it with the nether quartz on top. So that's cool. We'll do that. We still have to decorate this room, but it's so small. There's not much going on in here. So again, I'm okay with this for now. And same with this room. This room I'm never in too often because I just have such a surplus of steak that I don't really need to keep come in here ever. And leather looks pretty good. And same with my cooked mutton. So I'm almost never in here and I almost never need to make any more wheat using my ultra fast automatic wheat farm. Because, again, I got like two stacks of hay bales and I'm pretty much all set. So, I'm okay for now leaving this room the way it is and that transportation room the way it is. And just having, um, I couldn't make this neater though. And one thing I definitely need to do, this is a skeleton trap. This could be a lot nicer looking. I definitely need to have some kind of, um primary warehouse because right now i have all these chests they're just kind of thrown all over the place and i have this huge like furnace apparatus that's making me all of this clean stone from all this cobblestone that i've dug out during this project and it's just a butt ugly mess so i think i'm gonna throw in eventually i would love to put in like some kind of every item in the game or near every item in the game sorting system and have it be a giant warehouse as a matter of fact i might put that in right there that might be what this is an entrance to i think that's actually exactly what that's going to be the entrance to my every item in the game warehouse so you could come down here and get your sheep wool and then put it into the giant warehouse which i'll have there with the sorting unit and because I love this thing, I mean, this is like the coolest thing I've built in the server so far. I just think it looks real neat. I love that head, and I'm loving this. I just, I can't get enough of this. Looks so nice with the blue wool up there. This is an absolute success. And man, these guys are annoying. I hope I have the volume turned down so loud so you're not just hearing, Mah! which is my unfortunate imitation of a sheep, <laughs> um, but... All right, I think I'm done decorating in this episode. I've had about enough. Uh, quite a bit of trial error involved in this one. And in the end, I think everything came out pretty well. I definitely like it much better without the pug heads. I think I've said that a million times. I'm going to keep saying it, though. The pug heads, not a good idea in here. Way too small. Didn't come out too well. If I had a little bit more space, I'm confident I could make it look cool. Like, with that much space, I could make a pretty cool-looking pug head. As a matter of fact, in the future... Nah, I'm getting ahead of myself, but anyways, giant pug head I think is going to be, now when I say giant, I mean like 25 by 25 wide. That pug head is coming in the next episode, and it's going to go at my transportation. Oh, you know what? I didn't touch the transportation hub in this episode. I forget, this is only half of the base. The other half, and arguably the more important part, is the transportation hub where we are heading right now on these rails. I didn't even touch that. That's still friggin' ugly. Oh, way to go, Pug Nation. Way to blow it. But anyways, we're coming up on where the giant pug head is going to be. It's going to be right here on the side of this mountain. It's going to cover that hole, and it's going to be huge. 25 by 25, I think, are the dimensions. And I've already built it in creative, so don't worry. I already know it looks friggin' awesome. So, yeah, it's not going to be a disaster like my mini pug heads and my poor, poor map. That's got to be expanded. Probably do that off camera right now, actually, now that I'm here and... Unfortunately, I forgot. I have to decorate this. This is just as ugly as it ever was. But, alright guys, I think that wraps this episode up. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here and you would like to see more like it. And I will get straight on with it. Please leave your suggestions for the awesome Puglet Builds book, which I must have put in a chest somewhere. I don't have it on me. But we do have our first cool one, which is... A secret passage or some kind of secret layer behind a bookshelf. That's an awesome idea. Get on with it, guys. All right. But anyways, that's enough me prattling on. I will see you all very, very soon.